Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on probability basics. Uh, so there will be a few videos on this topic and in this one we'll just cover some fundamentals which will help you with all the probability questions that you'll ever see. Okay, so we'll start off with the probability scale. So probability uh, is the study of how likely things are to happen and we can express probability on a scale of uh, impossible to certain. Uh, and impossible we give a value of zero and certain we give a value of 1. So we can add a halfway point to this probability scale. Uh, so at a value of a half, so halfway between 0 and 1, or 0 0.5 if you prefer decimals. Uh, so we can say that anything beyond this point is likely to happen. So that's this region uh, between a half and 1. So that's likely to happen there. And anything lower than this value, so between 0 and a half, is unlikely. To happen. So if we do a couple of examples we could say uh, that the probability that it will rain tomorrow is 65%. Uh, so if 65% is 0 0.65 uh, so that's roughly here so 0 0.65 and uh, so this would be likely to happen. Whereas uh, we could say that the probability it will be foggy tomorrow is 1 6th. Now 1 6th is about here uh, so therefore that would be unlikely. And then just to use another example then, uh, we could have a, a coin toss where we're looking for the probability of getting a head on the coin toss. Uh, so the probability of getting a head would be half. So that, that would be equally likely and unlikely. Uh, so let's move on to some notation now. Uh, so if we go back to the, uh, the coin toss, so we have a coin uh, with heads on it, and we're looking for the probability of getting heads on the coin. Uh, well, we can write that as P heads. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be written like this. You could write it as P H if you want, as long as it's clear in the context of the question uh, what the uh, probability is that you're finding. Uh, the important thing is that you write capital P and then whatever you find in the probability of inside the brackets. So if you feel ready to tackle some probability questions, then why not have a go at our online exam? It's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions, a variety of different question types, and you get instant feedback on all of them. So you can keep track of your progress, find out where you need to improve, and so on. So if you're interested, then click the link below. It will take you straight over there.